Hello again, my friend. Please forgive me for putting this all together on such short notice, but it was too important to wait. Glad to see things are going so well around here. Arn, I'm surprised you're here without Tao. She's on Balmora, part of an assignment. I don't really know the details. Is your training going well? It's fine. I'm making progress. We really should get on with the meeting. We don't have a second to waste. If we're discussing Task Force Nova business, shouldn't we wait for General Day Rune? He's occupied elsewhere, but I've let him know everything that I'm about to tell you. This is Erin Lanier. Master Satil connected us. She had interesting news to share. The Erin Lanier? You faced Malchus at the sacking of Coruscant and lived to tell about it. It's an honor to meet you. How many times have you walked away from Malgus? We could start a club. I'll bring the drinks. Aaron lives on Dantooine. There's an abandoned Jedi enclave there with an untold number of ancient relics and artifacts. It would spell disaster if they fell into the wrong hands. Unfortunately for us, Darth Malgus just walked right into those ruins. Malgus? Are you sure? Nobody's seen him since the Meridian Complex. I'm sure. I sensed Malgus before he even set foot on our soil, and I saw him. I followed him right into the Enclave. Is Malgus still on Dantooine? I couldn't tell you. I didn't hang around there for long. Something felt very... different about him. <laughs> there was no way I could face him on my own. I'm not ashamed to admit I'm not the fighter I once was, but Malgus, it's like he's just as powerful as the last time I saw him. More powerful, even. Someone more capable needed to know what was happening, so I ran before he could figure out I was following him. Packed up my family and went straight to Master Satil. Dan Tuin is the last place I expected Malgus to show his face. We need to figure out why Malgus chose Dan Tuin, and for what? Master Nostaral, how do we handle this? General Darun is on standby. He's ready to deploy military reinforcements, if necessary. But he and I agree that we should keep this quiet. We don't want to cause a panic on Dantooine, or let the Empire get wind of what's happened. What are you suggesting? Search the Enclave and find out what Malgus was doing there. Arn has studied those ruins before. He can back you up. Were you listening to anything I just said? It'll take more than two Jedi to bring Malgus down. When these two faced Malgus on Corellia, they nearly defeated him for good. If Malgus is still in those ruins, they'll be ready for him. Arn and I can handle this. Right. If you're determined to do this by yourself, at least let me get you to Dantooine and point you in the right direction once we've landed. I'll be waiting by the shuttle. I'm glad she's offered to help. She knows Dantooine and Malgus, and she'll do whatever it takes to ensure her family's safety. But remember, Aaron Lanier was once a Jedi, but she is no longer part of the Order. Her only responsibility should be getting you there and back safely. I'll keep that in mind. We should get going. We wait too long, and I doubt there will be anything to find in the Enclave. I'm right behind you. I just need to let my people know where I'll be. Got it. Meet you at the shuttle. Hello, Commander. I was not aware we had any scheduled meetings. We didn't, but if I don't call now, I won't get another chance. Darth Malgus was on Dantooine, in the Jedi Enclave ruins. I don't know if he's still there, but the Republic is sending me to investigate. Do not fear, Commander. Imperial Intelligence officers recently received intel that matches what you've said. We will be deploying our own mission shortly. I will, however, relay your report to Lord Sarian. He will greatly appreciate the fact that you were so forthcoming. <laughs>